The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. My brother called me from Montreal this past week. And he tells me, Duvi, I have a story for you. It goes to show you something. Everybody thinks we have four brothers. There's really five brothers. There's one brother that we tucked away in Montreal and we are keeping him under the radar. Nobody to hear or know about the guy. Let him learn. He's a Rosh Koyal out there in Montreal. Let him learn. He's the youngest brother from the pack. Out of the public. This brother proving that he's also a Ben Shushan, calls me up, I have a story. See, it's, <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the dam. He calls me up and he says, I have a story. He said, Duvi, I want you to hear this. He says, this Misa just happened this past week with a family member of his. He says, the, the Vishnitsa Kolel came collecting by a family member of my brother through marriage. And they sit... And they were talking to the Balabas and they were telling him how many Avrechim and how much learning is going on with Hatmada, how many Mesechtot they finished. This is a real Kolel and they're collecting to be able to support the Kolel. Two gentlemen come in to collect. So the Balabait, he says, okay, I always help the vision of Kolel. I'm close with the vision of Rebbe in Eretz Israel. He pulls out a check. And he starts writing out a nice check to give to the kolel. As he's giving, writing out the check, talking to the, the younger man from the kolel, the guy sitting next to him, the other vision to Chassid, didn't look like a guy in kolel. So he turns to the other guy and says, are you also in the kolel? And the second guy says, no, I'm not. He says, you're not. So uh, are you the administrator of the kolel? No, I'm not. Are you the fundraiser of the Kolel, man? That's why you're here, you know. Uh, he says, no, I'm not. He says, do you have anything to do with the Kolel? He says, no. He says, well, why are you here? He says, it's funny you ask. He said that he was diagnosed with a very serious stage of cancer. And the doctors did not think he had a chance to live. They gave him a few days. He went to the Vision Tzarebi and he told him his, his situation. And the Rebbe told him, when the Avrechim of the Kailil go around to collect money for the tire of the Kailil, you go with them from house to house. And the schus of the tire of Hachzakat Torah will envelope you and you will not be touched. He says, I've been doing this already for six months. I was supposed to be gone five months and 23 days ago. And I'm still going strong. Baruch Hashem healthy. Baruch Hashem walking around from house to house, collecting for the vision of Kail with this younger man. I have nothing to do with the Kail. I'm not the fundraiser. I'm not the director. But I'm going around collecting, helping to collect for the tire of the Kail, so that the Or HaGadol Hazeh could be Mekif mensch, and literally can envelope him and put him in a different place. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Rabotai, if we would only know what that moment would do to us, Be'ezat Hashem, we would never stop learning. Enjoyed this story? Come again, bring a friend, storiestoinspire.org.